Okay. Just running. Okay, I just basically wanted to get this out of the way. Uh, let's see. Internet staying wired. Doing my little research here. So, excuse me, let me get back to that. Uh, my inbox. I keep my notes on, as I've stated in the previous uh, video. I like keeping my notes. And my uh, email stuff. Okay. Um, cheap smartphone. Uh, the cheapest smartphone you can get that has the mobile hotspot feature. Uh, another reason why I specifically need a smartphone apart from the uh, mobile hotspot feature is that I need to be able to use the grab app uh, because <laughs> yeah Southeast Asia you really need that that application there's just yeah no getting around it even if you like using the local bus system which I stick to as much as possible there does come a time when you need to get someplace in a timely fashion if you have an interview whatever it is and you're going to need one of those uh, motorbike taxis yeah you need this app anyway that's but for just general staying wired use uh, cheap smartphone that has a mobile hotspot feature. All right. Uh, cheap laptop. Keyboard. All right. Even if you don't use a laptop for any other reason. Um, reasonably decent tablet. For me, it's YouTube and Skype. Those are the two applications I would really be leaning on. My current choice is Yahweh, Yahweh's MediaPad T5, which comes around about $200. Uh, but if you're going to take a more neutral approach, you can just go online, do a search best budget tablets, and you'll get plenty of information. The ones I've found that kept on coming up. Uh, Renovo Tab 4, Samsung Galaxy Tab A, and various Fire tablets. Those are bargain tablets. Uh, but they're usually classified as stay-at-home tablets. You know, they're so cheap, it'd be a shame not to, not to have one if you just need something to toss around um, kind of thing. Let's see, Asus, 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 maybe Asus. ZenPad also came up. Z8S. So, I don't know. But, um, yeah, you, you'll find plenty of uh, reviews for the best budget tablet. Um, you, you just watch anything that comes under 10 minutes. You know, it's it's worth watching on your you know for yourself. Uh, they give you uh, the various reasons why they made their selection, and it may or may not uh, be important to you. So it's best to get that information directly. All right, what else? What else? What else? Let's see. The um. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, the cheapest workable phone plan. You can get uh, to date. I'm opting for uh, Mint Mobile's eight gigabyte plan. So, but um, and 
and I got that information. Well, I got an overview uh, from a video, excuse me, um, called Best Cell Phone Plans 2020. And that was posted by Stetson Dodgett. Let me center this again. Sorry. I've got this right in front of the screen. All right. What else? Accessories. Or more internet uh, ease. And for me, I'm focusing on the headphone with microphones and good lighting. Since I'm thinking about, I'm just focused on uh, teaching English online. Uh, those are my main points. And I found um, Sonatum on ear headphones with microphone that comes out to about 1997. And what else? The Ulanzi, Ulanzi Ultra Bright LED Video Light. And that's $12.95. So that's my main points. Uh, another thing I'm going to end up getting um, this is an extra. You know, if you're, you're watching your, your budget. Obviously, you wouldn't bother with this, uh, and there are cheaper ones out there, and um, an adapter, a Wi-Fi adapter, to um, strengthen your, uh, to stabilize your Wi-Fi connection, or hopefully to increase your speed or expand the range. Um, there are cheaper ones out there, but it's kind of doubtful whether they work or not. Uh, this one seems to get a pretty high rating, Netgear Nighthawk. Uh, I think I saw the review for AC1200, but the price I got, or the information I got, all these prices I'm getting from Amazon, so I don't know where you do your shopping. Um, the, uh, the model number that came up was AC1900. Wi-Fi USB adapter, and that comes out to 54.56. I don't know. That's a personal thing. Uh, I don't have my own Wi-Fi um, connection apart from my mobile hotspot uh, feature on my smartphone. So I don't even know if it'll it'll strengthen the the connection with that, or I'm just whatever internet access I can get. I'm hoping this will stabilize it. So that's the thought behind this thing. Uh, again, Netgear Nighthawk AC 1900 Wi-Fi USB adapter, and that's. 5456, but that's my personal thing. Uh, there are other things to consider. Um, I'm going to end up getting the um, an extra microphone, lapel microphone. Uh, that's um, a few video. I found um, sometimes I need to whisper, like when I'm in a hostel in a in a common room like the lobby uh, during the daytime and I don't want to you know really project my voice so I'm trying to whisper or whatever and um, I'm too far away from the tablet or smartphone or whatever the heck it's going to end up being um, it would have been nice to have a like a little lapel microphone so I could have you know, whispered not have to have the thing right in my face kind of thing so I'm going to go for, this is not going to be the, um, this is not going to come, but I'm not going to get this today. 
before next week, you know, and, and um, probably next month sometime, maybe in a couple of months. Uh, Boya by M1 Lavalier, Lavalier. I don't know how the uh, microphone. I call it, I call it a lapel microphone. I don't know what the heck, but whatever. Um, this is for smartphones, Canon, Nikon, Boya, BY, uh, BY. I don't know. It, it's a it's a model. It comes out to 1995. I got that information from uh, Best Smartphone Accessories for Videos, and that was posted by Justin Brown. A lot of good information there. Uh, he also mentioned a switch pod, which if I were going to take all these videos to the next level, I would certainly look into. It's like a it's a like a selfie pole that can convert into a tripod, which sounds pretty cool. That comes out to $100. Uh, again, if you're going to take your video making to the next level, it certainly sounds something worth looking into, um, along with stuff like the uh, wide angle lenses and the filters. I'm, I'm not taking my videos there, so uh, I don't see that happening anytime in the near or, or the foreseeable future. Um, again, I'm focusing on just teaching English online. So, yeah, but if you wanted to. All right, if this seems a bit choppy to you, I've been kicked off twice already. Uh, another thing, if you do these videos, you won't be able to have too many apps on your smartphone. Uh, so far, I've gotten rid of every game apps on here, and I just got rid of something called Game Hub and another thing called Smart News or whatever. I'm very picky about my news. So, um, get an SD card. Um, I'm going to try to put this all on one clip. Uh, on one video. I don't know if that's going to be possible. I've been continually kicked off. I've tried to remove uh, all the apps. I don't even remember if the clip that I've already said this is still on here. So, whatever. Uh, I've gone through the applications. Uh, I've just emptied out the trash. I noticed that we're still all in there. So check your Google Photos, check the trash, make sure you're just not all piling it up there and it's actually staying in the application and it's, you know, just, yeah, empty the trash, but still get an SD card. Uh, the other thing I wanted to include here was doing research online. Uh, if you're a bit of a, a geek and you like being a smart alecky, you'll like always having the answers, uh, you'll be doing a lot of research. So you've probably already noticed that that's a lot more possible on some devices than others. If you are downloading a lot of data, a lot of information, uh, downloading time slows to a trickle, you'll find it impossible. If you're on your smartphone, you don't have to download as much, so it's a lot faster. Um, so the way I end up doing research, uh, I'll pick the, uh, this is on the mobile phone. I'll pick the first five videos um, that, that comes up after I put in my search. Um, I look for the ones that are under 10 minutes. I'll add that to the uh, watch later because your options are also pretty limited on your phone. But at least the display I'm given on my mobile phone, uh, I can choose watch later. I go ahead and do that. Then I switch to my laptop and I'll put the videos on the playlist.
but you view the videos on the mobile phone. Uh, then just eliminate an ad as necessary. Because once that high speed data is gone, you may not be able to actually watch the YouTube videos on your laptop. So that's how I've ended up doing this. Again, this is for poor or slow Wi Fi. This thing's in the middle of the notes. Uh, once all your high speed data usage is used up, uh, there we go. Sorry. Okay, is this still running? Right. I keep on pressing buttons. I don't even know what I'm pressing. Okay, so once all your high speed data usage is used up, uh, trying to do this on your laptop will take forever. But of course, if a slow connection isn't, an, isn't an issue, you can stick with your laptop. Uh, you're given a lot of options that don't show up on the mobile. So, I'll put you in front of my notes again. Um, so, switching between two devices may be the only option you have. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've been kicked off so much now. I, I don't know what I've included and what I haven't. Uh, get a SD card. It'll simplify your life. You don't have to go in and, and try to figure out which apps you don't actually need. And uh, be sure you empty the trash because you may be deleting your, your videos, but it may still be there. So empty the trash too. All right, I'll see if this, uh, if I can get all this together. Talk to you later.